Hello again, this is Stan Roach, Chief Customer Officer, and welcome to the Agile Iron Suites demo video number six, covering the Business Customization module. This takes about five minutes. In this video, we look at the settings page here. This is the screen from where all the business setup and customization capabilities are managed. Only users with administrative privileges have access to this page. It is also very important to note that most of the work on this page is typically done at the initial stages of a new Agile Iron customer. After a new customer's initial setup is done, they only need to visit this section again if there is a business change that requires it, like adding a new user or a new channel, or if you realize you missed some nuance at setup time or want to change something. Doing this initial setup and customization is easy enough that many knowledgeable customers can do it themselves, and in fact many of our customers have done it for themselves. After all, doing the customization requires more than anything else a good working knowledge of your own internal business processes, and no one knows that better than you do. However, some customers prefer to have a third-party partner do the customization work for them, either because their people are too busy or the third party may be better at it, or because it requires the independent objectivity of a third party. If you like taking the route of using a third party, you may already have access to someone you like and trust or who already knows your business well, or if you want us to, we can recommend some highly qualified third parties as we already have a network of partners that are available if you want to consider them. Lastly, you can have us do the customization work for you. We do know our own product better than anyone, but of course we have a finite capacity and to do a qualified job we have to spend time learning your business and we do have to charge a fee for this work. But for starters, just watch this video and first get a handle on what the scope of customization work looks like. Then you can decide the best path for your firm. And remember, while there is a lot of powerful customization that can be done here, it is just as important to remember that the system starts out of the box with a set of logical and intelligent default settings that get you up to speed and running quickly and easily, since you can always come back and tweak your setup later. I'm going to show you nine different areas of customization. I will begin with user management. Agile Iron supports what is called role-based security, which simply means that each employee user can be constrained in what they have access to view or do or change. This means that different employee users of the suite can be provided access to the portions of the suite that they need in order to perform their job function, but that other areas of the application are not made available to them. This can be done at the level of the module or at the level of individual fields in specific modules, all depending on the level of granularity at which you want to manage security. As an example, the person assigned to do order shipping and fulfillment obviously needs access to the shipping and receiving module, but they may not need access to other modules or production staff may be provided access to the orders module, but the credit card field within the orders module that contains customer credit card information could be turned off. Next, I'll show you how to customize the fields you see in any module. The system comes pre-configured with a set of logical standard fields for each and every module, but you can hide some of the standard fields if they do not make sense for your business or add new fields if the standard fields do not cover your specific needs. By going to this section here called the default organizational field access, you can select the standard fields that do not apply to you and that you want to have hidden from all users. For example, if in your particular business it doesn't make any sense to display your customer's ticker symbol or SIC code as it does in many businesses, then you simply hide the ticker symbol and SIC code fields in the accounts module. Now when you look at your customer account page, you don't see those fields any longer. That was simple. You can use this to greatly simplify the display of all the modules when these changes are applicable for all users in your organization. If certain fields need to be visible to some users but hidden for others, you can do that in a similar way by going here to Field Accessibility and select a user profile for which you want to show the field and another user profile for which you want to hide the field. Next, I'll show you how to add your own custom field to any module. 
This is a particularly elegant and common way to extend a database to suit the needs of your individual business. I'll walk you through the steps because this is definitely something you will want to do. First, you go here to the Custom Fields link and select which module you want to add your custom field to. I'll select the product module since that is a pretty common place you want custom fields. Here I am presented with various fields for the type of field I want to add. Is it a text field or a number field or a date field or perhaps it's a special field like a pick list field which offers the user a drop down list of choices to select from. You can even have a fancy pick list field with multiple selections which allows your users to select multiple field values from the list of choices like athletic, smart and good looking like me in my dreams. <laughs> Next, I will show you how to customize what is called your pick list fields. Again, this is a very common and easy to do customization because it allows you to modify the set of choices for a field's value based on your specific business. For an example of this, I will go here to the customer accounts pick list. Here you can see that there are many standard fields that I can easily customize and that in fact I probably will want to customize for my specific business. So for example, I will modify the account type field which comes with a standard set of customer categories which may or may not reflect the customer segmentation in your business. I'll simply add to the list of values by adding government and employee. That was easy enough. Now when I go to the account type field on the account page I will have government and employee as options. Now that wasn't hard. Another very useful customization is the ability to set up templates for bulk emails. For example, for newsletters to target customer lists or blast emails to target leads in the CRM system. It's easy and powerful to set up HTML email templates in the Agile Iron Suite for sending to targeted lists. Again, I simply go to the settings page, then to this section called templates and set up an HTML template. I can use the built-in HTML editor here or import the HTML source from an external tool where it might have been created. I then upload any images to the server. If I wanted to get real fancy and personalize my email blasts, I can add markers in the source to merge information from any field like name or company, for example. Like any top-of-the-line shopping cart and order management system, you have complete control over all your customer notification emails. This includes notification of order confirmation, order shipment, order changes, and back orders. Again, you simply go to the settings page, then to the notification schedulers page, and there you can specify individually for each different sales channel what exact types of automated notifications you want. And if it's not enough customization, for each of these notification emails, you can separately customize the content of the email. You can specify who within your firm should also receive notification. And you can use markers to merge information from fields within the Agile Iron Suite to personalize the message. Last, but certainly not least, you have the ability to customize the Agile Iron Suite's integration with your accounting system. Again, go to the settings page and then configure accounting section. If you have a QuickBooks company file, then a large part of the setup is done automatically by simply importing that information directly from QuickBooks. Thanks for watching this demo video on using the business setup and customization features of the Agile Iron Suite. These customization features enable the suite to work exactly as you need it to for your specific company. Please feel free to watch any and all of these demo videos at any time.